We are in the days of remembering the Urs of the Sultan, of our last Khalifa who ruled for 33 years in the worst of times, who stood up against the whole world, who stood up against the Munafiks inside the ranks for 33 years alone, defending the rights of every Muslim from east to west to north and south. We are remembering the Urs of a Khalifa that just his spirit is worth two billion. Muslims today are looking for heroes. They're looking at comic books, just like this dunya is saying. They are looking at Western presidents and prime ministers and kings to be their heroes, just what the dunya is pulling us and making us to believe. What happened to our real heroes? They are making to seem your real heroes are only 1400 years ago. From 1400 years up till now, no heroes came. Everything became corrupt. We have fallen into the trap that they have laid for us to make us to feel ashamed of our past without understanding, without doing any thinking. Yes, we have heroes. We have heroes whose names, they are written in the skies with golden alphabets. We have heroes that until yesterday, they were defending the rights of every Muslim, man, woman and child, of every believer. They're defending the rights even of the unbelievers, defending the rights of Hazrati Insan. Ulu Hakan, Sultan Abdul Hamid Khan. He is such a hero. He is the most important hero in the last hundred years that we must remember. Sultan Abdul Hamid Khan became the Khalifa at the age of 34 years old. After his uncle Sultan Abziz Khan, Sultan Abdul Aziz Khan, he was assassinated by traitors. Everywhere inside and outside the empire was filled with those who were seeking to destroy the Khilafat, to destroy the Ummah and to destroy Islam. Our Grand Sheikh Sultan al Awliya Sheikh Maulana Muhammad Nazim Adil Haqqani is speaking about the Shan of Sultan Abdul Hamid Khan. He is saying, Sultan al Awliya, Sultan Abdul Hamid, one of the last Khalifas of the Ottoman Empire, the last ruling Khalifa of the Ottoman Empire, held the whole empire by himself, one person. The khutbahs were given in his name throughout the whole Muslim world. He kept the trust, the imanat, of the Prophet He also worked with his hands. Yes, he sold his work and he ate from its earnings. He found time for that amidst the work of a huge empire. He never sat upon his throne for judgment until he had made the Naqshbandi wirid. Recited from the Quran, recited from Dilailul Hayrat, prayed Ishraq and he prayed Duha. Then he would come. He was such a person. There were blessings. There was barakat during his rule. More mercy. For 33 years, he held the whole Ottoman Empire, that is the Islamic Empire, because he was the Khalifa, keeping the flag of the Prophet, alayhi